Good evening, my friends. <laughs> right. Two finds today out of those I've showed you in another video. Perhaps I haven't put it up yet, but here's one of the finds I had today. She's a bit of gold on around the edges of it. Bit of gold on there. Military button in pretty good condition. I'll give it a little bit of a clean. Uh, it's not the best. You can see some of the writing on it now. But to save you all of that, I can tell you what it is. I can show you much better what it is on here. It is a Staffordshire, North Staffordshire Regiment. And it's got the Prince of Wales on the bottom here. The Prince of Wales feathers on the top. The writing is not so good. Needs a bit more of a clean, I think. It still has the eye on it. So it could be a World War One, World War Two, 1914 uh, officer's button because it's gold. I've seen on what it said on here. North Staffordshire Regiment. 25 mil officer's guilt military button by Pitt. Uh huh. It's on eBay. And there you go. 1914, 1918, and era 1914 to 1945. So, first or second world war officers' button found in the swamp or in the bog. One button. And then a medallion. I found this medallion. This is 1936. And it's written in Welsh. It's in Cymraeg. That's the best condition here. the side. This is not so clear. You see a face there. It says Charles. I couldn't make out what it said on that side. I was having difficulties. I thought it was Thomas and um, I I was right, it was Thomas, Thomas Charles. So Thomas Charles is a, I think someone who wrote maybe wrote the Bible in Welsh or something like that. It says there A skull seal. A skull seal. A skull means school. And seal is Sunday. So this is something to do with Sunday school. Um, hard for me to read it. A das, he says here, a das lid on you now three, three quick. Uh, what's that lid? Celebrated in 1936. And it's got the date there of 17 something. Most probably. 
when he wrote the Bible in Welsh or something like that. And let me show you now what it looks like. It's supposed to be silvered. This is all copper. I think the silver gilding must have come off. Or it was just a bronze one or copper. But this was one of the finds again today. So it's dating back to 1936, was it? 1936? And it's Thomas Charles. Thomas Charles. And I'll show you the picture I found on eBay. Oh, no, no, not that one, not that one. No, that one. Here we are. Um. That's Thomas Charles. And there's another metal very similar, which would have Robert Ratress or something. Robert Ratress? Robert Rikes, 1930. And Thomas Charles, 1936. And the opposite side is that there. Tradid Jubilee, third Jubilee, it says. A skull seal, school on Sunday. Un Nghamri, in Wales, in 1765. I can't bloody see it. 19, 1735, 1935. Adathlid and in now three and celebrated in 1936 so I don't need um, a translator there I, I managed I managed to a jubilee Robert Riggs uh, something Kai Calwyddiant something griffith jones so there we go two finds i've identified and even identified the welsh medallion of thomas charles so let's do a search now for thomas charles was it thomas or thomas I mean, um, Thomas, Thomas, Charles, Thomas Charles, Wells Clutchyman, could be the one. Thomas Charles, born. Oh, Thomas Charles from the Bala. The Bala's 14 miles away, or, or nearly 20 miles away from where I live. So he's born born in 1755 in Carmarthenshire and died October 1814. Oh. So he must have had a, a bit more fans, I suppose, for this metal to be... What date was that? 1930 something? So anyway, let's carry on. See what I can find about him. Welsh Calvinist Methodist clergyman. Considerable, considerable importance in the history of modern Wales. Hmm. Like Wikipedia. Wikipedia. 
William Bruce. Battery power. I'm going low on power. Thomas Charles, Wells Calvinist Methodist clergyman. Important. Charles was born in parish of Llangmihangel, Aber Cowen, Cowen, near St. Clears in Camarlison, Camarlinshire. The son of Rhys and Jill, Charles, the oldest brother, or him writer, David Charles. He was educated from the Anglican ministry. Uh, Anglican, Anglican, where was the Anglican, where do I see now? Took the priest order in 1780, afterward added to his charge. Uh, September 1782 was presented to the Perpetual Curacy of South Barrow. Oh, God. Come on. <sighs> Methodist Sympathies. Charles had been influenced by the Great Revival Movement in Wales. And at the age of 17, he had been converted by a sermon of Daniel Rowland's, or Roland. This was enough to make him unpopular with many of the Welsh clergy, and being denied the privilege of, of preaching for nothing, for nothing at two churches, he helped his old Oxford friend, John Mayer, now vicar of whatever, October, blah, blah, blah. Uh, on the 25th of January he took charge of Llanum Mawdwy, 14 miles from Bala but was forced to leave after three months because three influential people including the rector of Bala had persu persuaded his rector to dismiss him his preaching his catch cat sing whatever that means of the children after Evans song and his connection with the Bala Methodist his wife's stepfather being a Methodist preacher gave great offence after a fortnight fortnight more shortly he wrote to John Newton another clergyman friend the Church of England denied him employment and the Methodist Methodist desired his services. His friends advised him to return to England, but it was too late. In September, accompanied by Henry Newman, he went on tour in Canarishire. In December, he was preaching at the Bont Achel Association, and he joined the Methodists in 1784. Schools. Nah. The Welsh, the Welsh, Welsh Bible Project. In 1800, when a frostbitten thumb gave him great pain and much fear for his life, his friend Philip Oliver of Chester died, leaving him director and one of the three trustees over his chapel at Borton. And this added much to his anxiety. The Welsh causes at Manchester and London who gave him much uneasiness and bird burdened him with great responsibilities at this juncture. In November 1802 he went to London and on the 7th of December he sat at a committee meeting of the Religious Tract Society as a country member, when his friend Joseph Tan, a member of the Spa Fields and Religious Tract Society Committee, introduced the subject of a regular supply of Bibles for Wales. Charles impressed the committee with his arg arguments in favour 
When he visited London in 1803, his friends were ready to discuss the name of the new society, whose sole object should be to supply Bibles. Charles returned to Wales on the 30th of January 1804, and the British and Foreign Bible Society was formally and publicly inaugurated on the 7th of March. The first Welsh testament issued by that society appeared on the 6th of May, 1806, the Bible on the 7th of May, 1807, both being edited by Charles. So, yes, I was right by saying he had something to do with the Bibles in Welsh. Mm -hmm. So, here it is. Thomas Charles. I won't bore you with all the stories of what's left to read. I can't be bothered. <laughs> if you want to look into Thomas Charles, uh, preacher, Welsh preacher, a Methodist, or so there was a Calvinist, you could be free to do it. You'll find it on um, Wikipedia. Thomas Charles. So there's some a bit of history I found today. Both in the 1900s, but history of the 1800s as well. So the best I could get that, I'll try and clean it a little bit more. And there's the button. As for a couple of the other finds I had today, the coins, one was a Victoria Penny, 1900, and the other one was a half penny, ship half penny, 1944, half penny, with a ship on it, but uh, I've thrown him in the rubbish pot. They went very good condition. So there's two finds today. A bit of history for you. Tabochi. <laughs>